Hello students, welcome to the physics session. Today we are going to start with the topic name pulley. This falls under the unit of types of simple machine under the theme of energy. Till now we already understood what are simple machines and what are the various types of simple machine. Even pulley falls under the type of simple machine. Ok students? Now, when we talk about pulley, before that we already learnt about lever and various orders of lever. Fine. So, let's start with the chapter or topic today that is pulley. Now, we will begin with defining what are pulley. Pulley is a flat circular disc having a groove in its edge. So, we will just pick out the important points from the definition. Pulley is nothing but a flat circular disc having a groove in its edge. And is capable of rotating around a fixed point passing through its central axis commonly called as axle. Now here you can see an image of a pulley. In this if we go by the definition a pulley is a circular disc. This circular disc that I am drawing that I am outlining is my circular disc we are talking about in the definition. Pulley is a flat circular disc having a groove. Now you can see there is a groove in words of that circular disc. This is how we get our pulley by making groove in the circular disc. It is capable of rotating. Now here you can see there is a nut here and this nut is in the center of that circular disc. This acts as the axle. This axle makes it possible for the groove or the circular disc to rotate around the axle. This system is called as or defined as the pulley. Let's repeat the definition students. Pulley is a flat circular disc having a groove in its edge and capable of rotating around a fixed point passing through its central axis commonly called, called as axle. Okay. Now pulleys can be made from different materials. Generally pulleys are made from some metals but in, when pulleys were dis invented, when these machines, simple machines were kept into usage, they were made of wood. Even today in villages, when someone has to draw water, they use such kind of pulleys to help them. Then those pulleys are made up of not generally metal but can also be made out of wood. Ok students, let's look at various components of a pulley. Now for a pulley to work you may need to attach it somewhere. So let's define it by the term called block. We have our circular disc here, right? So we call this circular disc as our pulley. This is the circular disc we were talking in the definition. Then this circular disc also have one more important feature that is it has groove on which anything can rotate that passes through it. Generally, pulleys are used in combination with ropes. So, the rope can pass over the groove and can be used to conveniently do a task. Okay. Now, this is a flat disc. That means the circular portion is flat from the outside and this is our axle around which the pulley is free to rotate. So, these arrows that you can see here are actually showing you the rotation that is possible for the pulley. Then, we have a hook here. Right. So, anything you need to rotate or anything you want to attach, you can attach using the hook. Okay, students. So, this is a diagram for how, sorry, this is a diagram for various components of the pulley. Now, we are going to, there are various combinations. Like, let's say a pulley is used to lift heavy weight or actually you learnt in simple machine. Simple machines are also those machines that help by changing the direction of force. That means, what students? That means, if I have a pulley here and the rope is going like this and one rope is going like this, I can use it to add my effort and load in this manner. That means, my pulley is this, over the groove my rope is there, my effort will be in the downward direction but my load on applying the effort will be 
moving in the upward direction that is my direction of the force is changed using the pulley right now we can use pulleys and combination of various pulleys to do the task if we need to lift a heavy load a very heavy load we can use instead of one pulley some combination of pulleys so we are going to now learn about two very two combination one is the single fixed pulley system and the other is the single movable pulley system so these are the two systems we are now going to learn about let's start with the first one that is single fixed pulley system the uh, the diagram here shows you the arrangement for a single fixed pulley system in this case the pulley is fixed with a point right let's say the block as we understood earlier fine what we are seeing here that there is a rope that i am tracing right now that is going over the groove of the pulley and then further is used to lift a load or anything else that we need the pulley for in this case the effort is applied in the downward direction on this side and because of this the load is going upwards so how does a fixed single fixed pulley work it consists of a single pulley as we can see here the rope passes through the groove as we see here so already one end of the rope is attached to the load the effort is applied to the under other end of the rope so if a rope is going over the pulley the pulley is one end is used to put like apply the effort and the other end is where the load is kept now we understand uses of single fixed pulley single fixed pulley is the one that we can see used to lift water out of well in villages if you have ever visited a village you might have seen that people still use well system to get their water right so it is very difficult to pull or actually get water out of so much depth in that case pulley comes as the aid and this case is the pulley is used is is of what kind it is of single fixed pulley system kind so the rope is going over the groove this is my load and the effort will be applied from the other end of the rope now let's move on to the second one the second one is single movable pulley system the name suggests that one pulley is movable while other is fixed in this case we have the pulley attached let's say this is pulley 2 and this is pulley 1 okay so the rope goes like this above onto the groove of p2 and onto the groove of p1 in this case the effort is applied on the this side of the rope attached to p1 and the load is pulled using the other pulley that is the load is attached at p2 so it, it is made by combination of two pulleys as we already saw that in such pulleys half the effort is required to raise the load now why we are actually using the combination of pulleys because my effort to put pull a load decreases by half the amount that means what students let's say the effort or the force required to pull the load up is 100 kg f so the effort required would just be 50 kg f that means my effort decreases by increasing the number of pulleys this kind of combination is used in cranes now crane is already an example of a lever machine it uses the mechanism of a lever now to pick heavy loads there are different pulleys depending on the load we use so in this kind of machine we use single movable pulley system thank you